tip's about right. If I tap there, okay, mm -hmm. that's really high. That's about right. So if it were really high, I would have left it too long. You've had it, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so what you do is, um, the first passes with the um, burnisher are just virtually using the weight of the burnisher. No pressure at all. Because what you want to do is... Um, uh, press the gold onto the bowl so it's quite firm and then you can really start the burnishing. Now the cross section of the burnisher is slightly oval. Alright, it's, it's oval. Um, I'll put a picture of that. So we, we want a fairly large area. We want a fairly mm -hmm. large area to be in contact. So that's what you want. You don't want that. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure per square centimetre on that in the grooves, whereas that is better. That's, that's a stiletto, that's sort of a, a walking foot. Um, see that, ladies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to do that, you need to go really flat. So basically, um, your hands on the table, virtually. Mm -hmm. If I go like that, it's, it's a bit sharp. Secondly, I want this more or less to go at right angles to my movement. All right? if, I, if I were to go like that, I'm sort of creating a channel. Mm -hmm. So if I go like that, basically what's, what's in contact is a sort of a, an oval like that moving this way. So I get a more gentle um, mm -hmm. valley. Right? So the first thing, I'm just virtually balancing it in my hand, virtually no pressure. And that's so I can, I can hear from the sound if it's right or not. That's about right. I us actually get it on the dry side. Then I do a little exploration, a bit of scouting ahead. So I know I'm not going to be surprised by wet patches. I can tell by the sound. Mm -hmm. This little bit there. See? You can hear it there, but you can't there. Mm -hmm. So it goes silent when it's wet. It tends to, yeah. yeah. So that's, I think, where I made the fault when I put a double layer on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the two layers in is probably, the two layers of gold and the moisture hasn't been able to evaporate. So I have to watch that. So if you hear the, or if it is silent, then you just move on. You might have to, yeah. To or just yeah. very, very gently work it to see what happens. Then. Yeah. So now I know that's right. So different people have different techniques for burnishing. What I tend to do is just, go one direction and go slight about 10 degrees another direction. Some people go crisscrossing, right angles and circular, all sorts of things. But generally I've found go like that and then go slightly like that. Why do you think I go like that? Why don't I go all exactly the same direction? You get grooves. You get grooves, exactly. So if I just go back like that, I get grooves and reinforce this. If I go like that, then I sort of cancel out and flatten those grooves. So you'd be surprised how robust gold is. And in part it's robust because of the give underneath. I need to, that was a bit damp there to press down, so I need to press that down now. You'd be surprised how hard you can press really and it, and it not go through the gold, as long as you've got the timing right. Um, the word burnish is French, means brown. So basically, as you'll see, as you're polishing, you're creating uh, more of a polish, and that reflects what's around you, so it actually looks browner. And you can see, as you move your head around, you can see where you're burnished because it's darker. Where it isn't burnished, it's sort of yellow, and where you're burnished, it's a sort of deeper, deeper orange colour. Did you start in the middle or on the edges or does it matter? I started where I began um, burnish where I began laying. Right, yeah. So you start with the oldest gold first. Yeah, yeah. because that'll be the driest probably. Right, but uh, along that line of edge, does it matter if you do the middle and then the edge or because there's sharp edges, right? You um, do you mean the edge of the bowl of yeah. the board? Um, no, it's not an issue, you just Just wherever. Yeah. Okay. Now um um, where when you stop and change direction, where you stop and change, there's a little, always a bit of groove created there. So if I keep going back like that, I'm going to be collecting a lot of grooves in one line. 
Right. So you want to move around like that and not change direction in the same place. So you've got to force yourself to be a bit irregular. Don't get into a habit of going back and forth, go like that and then like that and like that. That sound there is how it should be more. That's a bit high. So actually getting a bit dry here. So I think this area might not burn us as well as the rest. But. <laughs> Because it's too dry? Uh, it'll be borderline. I think we'll be all right. Well, we it's will like be all right. <laughs> but it's, um, yeah. it, it's pretty, pretty close to being a bit on the hard so side. There really isn't a lot of time between laying and bridging. Like, that's why you do sections. That's why I like it. Exactly. If I did all this now and came back to that, yeah. it'd be a bit dry. Yeah. Oh, can I you think we should do the whole of the kit with tops in one? Uh, you just have to see. Okay. Really, once, once that's ready, you've got to stop and burnish otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, the only way to get round that if you found that you've done all this and you start burnishing, it's all scratching, you'll just have to double gild. Mm. But you couldn't double gild after it was burnished. You can, you can either double gild, you've, you've got to smooth it enough with the brush to double gild. Mm. So either you can then burnish and then double gild, or you can just smooth it with the brush and double gild and then burnish. People do either. And, and this is this is single thickness gold. Yeah? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Mm. That looks beautiful. Pretty good. Mm. I think gold does vary in quality. I've had some gold which it's got fine holes in it and some cracks. So um, traditionally, gold leaf was made by hand beating. Mm -hmm. um, that's why the symbol of a gold beater is a big musty arm with a big hammer. <laughs> um, nowadays, they tend to use rollers only, so I don't know if one produces better quality than another. So as you get more confident that you're pressed down, you can go longer strokes, and then press harder and harder. And don't forget to change the angle. If you do get an area where it's dry enough to burnish, sorry, damp enough to burnish, and not, not too damp, but you find there's a bit of discoloration because some of the glue is soaked through. Get a cotton wood and rub it, and that can remove the um, stuff that's risen to the surface through the pores. Mm -hmm. That dries it, and then you can carry on. So I've done that there, and that's much better now. Mm -hmm. It's taken the excess off them, and that's gone oh, quite yeah, beautifully yeah. now, actually. Mm -hmm. The ideal is when it's a sort of a, you feel this lubrication, there's oil on it, and it goes really nicely. It's like this film of oil. That's, that's really good there now. So I think from now on, it's going to be quite good up here. It's a very lightweight, no pressure. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a high. It's drying really, really quickly. I'm surprised how quickly it's drying. Yes. If you waited too long and it's too dry to burn it, so you just lost it? Uh, yeah, well, either you can just decide to polish it with your cotton ball and leave right. it like that. Or you double gild, in which double case gild. you can burnish, it's fine. Okay. When you double gild, as I'll show you later, not today, but tomorrow, um, you use gilding water just with a bit of um, uh, size in. Mm -hmm. That does go through the first layer of gold enough to soften the, the, the um, yeah. bowl, and you can burnish. Mm -hmm. it, 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 but it's a lot shorter time, though, because... Um, it's not quite so much time to burnish. Does it, the humidity in the room make sense? And all this difference, difference? You know, yeah. So, so if I live in Tucson, I probably should get a humidifier. So you want a warm room or not a, or? Um, it's more humidity, I think. So not too warm, not because it'll give you yeah. more time. Right. Probably a cold, damp room might be a bit better in terms of giving you a bigger window. Yeah. <coughs> so if we feel when we're laying the gold, that we're going to go slowly, you must, yeah. yeah. It's good to plan, especially the inside plan, realistically, where you're going to stop. So you've got quite clear divisions here, haven't you? You've got one, two, three, you could join there and four there. So it's to say if you're really slow, you could say, well, I'm just going to do that and that. Mm -hmm. Burnish those, then, then do that half, that quarter, and then that right. quarter. So you don't obviously want a big border if you stop, you want a small, short border. So as I said, you might find some areas a bit 
damper than others and they react differently. So get your cotton wool out and rub them and that helps to take off the excess.